Okay, this weekend we're going over a lot of fun phone tricks. Mostly writing out your own code, uh, command line type stuff. Um, and one of the things we're going to be going over, we're going to be looking at some features that are available through websites, but then writing our own scripts to interact with those sites. One of those sites we're going to look at right now is called ComedyCalls.com, which is also linked to another site called... I can't remember what it's called right now. Anyway, basically it's another site that does basically the same thing, run by the same people. Basically what happens is you come in here, you got different categories, and you know, you can choose one like pranks, and you can preview some of these just by clicking on them, like this is a great one here, this bad connection mail. Hello? 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 Uh, if you can hear me, I cannot hear you, so call back. Must be a bad connection. So anyway, I love that one, saying it to people, because people don't realize it's a joke. Till the very end, at the very end, the website does give them a little advertisement saying, oh, you've just been prank called by ComedyCalls.com, and you can pay to get those uh, end um, messages removed. But other than that, it's a free website. They do limit you to a, a, after a certain point um, of number of phone calls a day, and then you have to wait till the next day before you can make more phone calls. But uh, let's go ahead and see how we can play with this site from the command line. Well, first, let's, let's look at this site. So we would go something like this. We would say, okay, we want to select from pranks. Let's do the uh, one we just said, the um, bad connection mail. Then you'd put in a phone number like... Uh, uh, 760-706-8888 and you would click call and you would place a call and you won't hear it here unfortunately this site you don't get any uh, visual or audio uh, there are other sites that actually record the stuff for you but basically it would dial that phone number and play that message to that person um, but how can we access this from the command line. Well, let's start up our Firebug plugin here. Uh, Firebug is a very useful add-on for Firefox. Uh, sometimes some of the things that we do with uh, the Firefox console is great, but uh, some, but it isn't as full featured as the Firebug. So let's go ahead and click on uh, on. We'll have all. We're on net. Make sure you have net enabled. And at this point, we'll just click place call. At this point, we can close this window, and if we scroll up, we can see that there was a form post right here to this link. So, let's go ahead and have a look at that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it by clicking this little plus sign here. It gives some information. What we're really are concerned with is the post information here. As you can see, it sends a couple of variables, and some of those variables being the phone number, the area code and the phone number. So let's go ahead and go to the command line and just use curl to do a simple form post to this address. So what we're going to do is in the command line here, let me make this font a little bit bigger here. And now my window's too big. Let's see. There we go. That's better. We're going to say curl dash dash data. And then inside parentheses, just send each one of these variables. So we'll first start off with category. Well, category, and in this case, equals four, which is the prank category in this case. And then we're going to say um, end, and we're going to put another variable equals, in this case, 38. So lib ID is going to be the, the in this case, it's the, the mail caller. So these, these two uh, variables signify the, the, the audio that's going to be played to the caller. And this is just something you're going to have to figure out for each one. Um, but once you do, you can pick your favorites, load them into a script, and easily run them without having to go to the website every time. So we'll go to the next variable, and we'll say no area for area code equals, in this case, we'll do 706. And then we'll say end num equals, and we'll just paste in our phone number here. And we'll say user token, even though there's no variable set for that, I'm just going to leave that blank like that using two single quotes. Now all we have to do is tell it where we want to submit this to. 
We'll copy this link location and we will paste it in here. And that's it. That's our entire command. We've got curl, then data, because we're going to post some data, the variables and what they equal, separated by the end symbol for each variable, and then the link that we want to uh, submit it to. So at this point, I'm going to click enter and So that's it. At this point, you can uh, load those different variables into scripts, getting different ID numbers for different recordings. And then uh, you can easily send those messages to different people without having to go to the website. Now, once again, they do cut you off at a certain limited day. I think you can only call each number two, maybe three times. And then you can only make a total number of calls a certain number of times based on your IP address. And the site does request somewhere that you don't use proxy servers. Uh, so uh, I can't control what you do, but um, but uh, proxy servers would get around that, you know. Um, so that's it. We got a lot more on uh, fun little phone tips today, and we're going to be just playing around a lot with them today. I uh, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.